Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is video number 8 of this Com Care Complete series. And inshallah, like I said, I will explain about Com Care from the beginner level up till where I believed one can be able to work with Com Care. In this video, we are going to uh, learn how to build a survey form on ComCare. That's what we are going to discuss about today. You know, we have two types of forms on ComCare. We have survey and we have case list. So today, we are going to talk about this. We are going to take this survey form first in this video. So in this video, we are going to take the survey form and I'm going to take this survey form from the first from the developing of the form publishing it deploying it and also using it on mobile phone because I want you to must have this uh, you know uh, survey form first when we are done with it we deploy it we see how we do everything there then will go and start working with the case list because the case list is more of the of the advance of uh, advanced form than the survey form but let's learn the survey form first so now we, we are going to our application ICT survey then we are creating new one I already told you you click on this ad then you select ICT you say surveys so now this is this what we are going to see so first of all we can edit this name if we like we can just click here this pencil and we can call it data i'm just calling it data analysis literacy that's the name of the form so i click on save and it's going to change the name of the of the form here so i told you if you want to add another form inside this service folder you can just click here and click on survey if you want to uh, also add another folder here another menu you click here and you click on this survey so now let's start creating the questions so if we like like I told you within the labels we can create section by section so I can click on this label if I just want to create a label and call it section A so that, that that's the section A a. So all the questions I'm going to do are under this section A is when a, the person a, a is done with section A then he move with to section 2. And let me say this to you, all what we are doing, you will see this red button is just having a tick in here, look at it here, there is a red button here, let me zoom it a little bit for you, you see it, if you click here it means you refresh it. And whatever you did, whatever you did, make sure as you are creating this form, you are also saving it. You need to click on this save, then you save the changes and you click here to refresh it. Because we are going to use this mobile phone that we are seeing here to work with, what to see whatever we are creating from this space. And we are going to use this, as you can see, to put uh, all the information we want. This is the display text and that's what will appear here. There's the question ID. The question ID is the ID of this particular question that we, uh, this particular label we just created. And we also have display condition, validation condition. Uh, all this I'm going to teach you how to use them. So now we just add the label and you see it's just a label. So now let me start adding a particular question. So now for example, let's start out with the full name. I can ask the full name. So let's ask the full name for example. Let's say full name. Or if you will like, we can say first name, so name and other name. So I can say for example, first name, that's the first name that we want. So we put first name, then I can add another question as text because it's a text. And I'm going to say so name. Then I will click on add question again. Just keep doing it because the data we are collecting on this is a what is a text. Then we have other name. So we are collecting the first name, the so name, and all, and the other name. 
So now again, what are we collecting? Let's say we want to collect a uh, date of uh, birth. We want to collect date of birth. So now we are coming to the date. So then under this date, we select date. So now we say date of birth. So now we have date of birth. Let's say we want to collect a gender. So for the gender is going to be a multi-choice question. It's either a male or a female. So we are going to click on this multi-choice. We are going to click on this multi-choice. So let's click on this multi-choice and we are going to call it gender. So under this gender, you see, it's going to click on this add choice. It's going to see this add choice for us to add the choice that we want the person to select from. So I will click this add choice and say, for example, male. And I will click the add choice and say female. That's for the gender. So if we like, we can take it up. You see, I can bring it up here and I can also bring it down if I want. So I just want to show you how you can do that. So now we are done with the gender. So after first name, so name this gender, then we bring that up bath beneath it. So this is it. So what information do we want again? And we can ask the person for the state. If we like, we can list all the state. If we have the list of the state, now we don't have time to create the list of the state. So if you like, we can just put, okay, let's just create one. So let me bring it down here and call it a state. So from the list of state, I'll just add some few states. For example, I'll start with my state, which is Zamfara, even though it's Z, but let's start with the one that has to do with A. So let me put Abuja, then I'll put Anambara, then let me put another state and let's say Jigawa, Jigawa, let's see, okay, Gombe. So I need to add B also, Borno, because yeah, let's add B and bring Borno up here. So after this, um, let's see, let's add Kanu, let's add Kaduna, let's add um, Kasina if we like. Let's add, okay, so let's just stop here. So I'll just add Sokoto. Sokoto, then I'll add Zamfara because it's the Z at the end. So these are the list of the states. So if you like, keep adding your state so that people will see the state and choose from the list of the state. Don't worry, we are going to use this to see what we have developed so far and if what we did is okay. But let me just click on save. Let me click on save. We just save the form. Then I'm overriding it. If it asks you that, just click on it like that. So now I'm going to sync this. You can click this or you can click this. Just click on this. You update it from this. So let's see the form we just developed uh, so far. So I'll click on the start. You see we have this folder which is for service. Then we have data analysis, literacy, this is it. And it's going to say section one, and this is the section one. So now if I click here, you see we have this first name, then I can write first name. Then I can click this, so name, I can click. You see, now I can move even without putting the data in the field. I can move without selecting the data. So we want to come back, you see, if you are done, you click complete. We are not sending anything, let me come back to home. Now we want the first name to be required. You cannot pass it until you put data in it. Then we can come here and click on this required. So required, we need to tick required. So name, we need to tick required. But other name, we are not going to tick required. Why? Because not everybody has other name. So some people has or use only two names, while others use uh, uh, other people use other names. So for the gender, we want the person to select his gender. Date of birth also you must select it and state also you must select it. So let me save and also let me sync uh, the uh, the the font. Let, let's go and see. So now if we come to the survey, we click on this, this and we click on this. Now if we didn't put a name, we cannot pass this. We must put a name. So let me put Ahmad. For the first name, then we click on next. Then so name, let me click Aminu. Then we click on next. So even if I didn't put the other name, I can put next because it's not required. But 
I have to put it which I have Ahmed Amin Ahmed then I click on next so for the date of um, gender you must select the gender if I click on next it will not go it will tell me that this is required you must select it then I will click here so this is how you create a field that must be filled by the respondent so this is it so let's go back to our home and let's continue creating our question so this is how you just keep doing and now another thing that uh, I will show you is um, for the list that I said so if you create this list uh, if you create a list of questions it means all the questions you create are going to fall under a particular page It's going to be the same list for the questions that we you have so but now let's create another session so we are on this so let me just create another level for example before we create the list so let me just call this section B so that is section B so for this the question we want to start asking is the uh, uh, are you a graduate or oh, let's just ask the qualification school qualification so school qualification so let's add the qualification so let's say for example okay I made mistake in the qualification please sorry so it's supposed to be qualification yeah like this so this is how it's supposed to be so for this let's call it for example let's start with primary school living certificate okay so let's have primary school living certificate so let's have uh, SSCE Then let's have um okay, let's have N D let's have N C E then we can have H N D we can have B S C we can have M S C then we can also have P H D and I think that's the last so this is it so for the qualification so if we like um, we can add maybe uh, a question multi question also again are you a graduate for example we can add this then we can say yes and we can add this and say no for example like this so we'll make this qualification to be required and also this one we want it to be required so let's refresh this so now if you look at it you can see that let's see you can see that if you look at it now we can have section A all the questions under section A are this let me just uh, fill it let me just fill it anyhow we just want to go to section B and see what will happen there so this is it date of birth let's just select this continue let's select this so you see we are okay sorry okay I didn't save this I'm sorry I didn't save this section B that we just added sorry it's my fault <laughs> that way I didn't see section B I was surprised where did our section B go so let me just fill it and I want us to see section B <laughs> I did I didn't save it okay okay so whatever you did any field you add please make sure you save it okay so make sure you save it so let me select this so we are done with section so it says section B so now this is it you see this we click here I say this maybe no then I continue and it say complete so now we are done with this everything is okay so now is this a, a list that I want to show you so for this list all oh, let's start with the group so for the group since we just create a label if we like we can just create a group and put everything on diet but let me show you this list because it's what I want you to learn uh, in this so when you click on this group and you select this question list it means all the question will fall under this list and they are going to be on one page so you don't need to keep swiping 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 it just if all the question will be under this page so let me just call this um, personal 
details so this personal disease i'm taking it up let me take it up i'm bringing it up here so this level this i'm just selecting this you can click control to select so i'm selecting all this i'm selecting all these that are under section a all these questions let me zoom in you see all these questions i'm selecting them so now what i'm going to do sorry sorry let me leave it like this so what i'm going to do is i just i just have to drag them under this personal details and drop them there so now they are under this personal details list so if i click here i collapsed it if i click here i uncollapse it so this is it so now let me save this and let's come back and see our problem let me refresh so if you click this start here and click service you see everything this section a is under this list now we have all the data under this list and we don't need to swipe is when we are done with this and click next that one it will take us to step uh, section b and if we like if we want section b to fall under this like this all the questions under section b to be on one page not for us to keep swiping swiping we just put them on that and we create another list and we put all the question under the list please don't rush this go ahead practice this create the question okay we didn't create the phone number let's just add the level of the phone number so that you will see it so under this section a again so after state so let's collect phone number so i'll put the integer then i'll call it phone number phone number i can make phone number to be required also then maybe what do we want to add okay we, we are not adding the field of integer sorry we have phone number field so if you want to delete a field on on come here just click here and you see delete just delete it now we deleted it so let me add the field here then i select the phone number level then i will call it phone number i put the text display text as phone number so maybe we want to collect uh, maybe something price or something like that or number of attendance or whatever then you just keep here or maybe let's come to this after are you a graduate let's say number of experience let me just say here number of working experience so let's just add this number of working experience okay number of okay yes of years of working experience we want to collect the years of working experience so now you see the years of working experience it has to be integer then you write the years for us so this is are you a graduate years of working experience so th that's how it's going to be so please go ahead and create questions by yourself have all the questions know what data type you are going to use to collect the questions create different sessions because this is where we are going to stop i don't want us to continue because i think we use all the questions it's just uh, for the multimedia if you want to capture the image then you just come here and add it so for the what else for the gps also if you want to capture the gps then you just say uh take location or you just say location then from the mobile phone the person will just capture the geo coordinate of the location so that's for the location so for all this you just go ahead and put the image if you want to capture the image then you say uh, upload image for example if you like you can just go ahead and i do that so for the upload image you see audio video and whatever we so we almost use everything here is only this hidden value that we didn't use i told you is the advanced one and we're going to cover that uh later in this series so let me save all what we have done because uh, we are going to stop here because I, I wanted to go ahead and develop the form and create a very complex uh form using this list group and anything but l let me add this group so that i will show you how you just how you can just create the group also so let me create it from the top here on our group just go ahead you see this how this group works so everything you group all the questions under the group you group them in one place so you can name the group and call it maybe whatever you can call it uh um section we could we, we create the section we create different thing but let me just uh, add something for example for the group so if you like you can put all the section or you can just say data or complete data and whatever then you put you just drag everything and put it under this group of questions that you just created 
so this is how you create uh, uh you start building the form uh on comk and i think let's stop here so that you will just have time to practice let me save let me sync here so you you whatever you did you save it and you practice it here i think we stop here in this video see you in the next uh video wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Thank <laughs> you.